Good morning. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Captain Cody Davis here with you guys again for another one. And it's early. It's early. It's a little after 4 a.m. Uh, just got the boat all hooked up. Cooler ice down. And Kelly should be pulling in here any minute now. Uh, because we are going to be participating in the second Roland Martin Marine Series Qualifier of the year. And uh, a lot of you might be saying, I didn't see the video for the first one, and that's because there wasn't one. Uh, there was nothing to show. We had like eight pounds or something. It was absolutely horrible for us. It was not a fun time. My buddies Matt and Nick ended up winning the event, so that was awesome for them. Funny enough, we were going into that event with a really good game plan and on some what we thought were really good fish, and it was just horrible. Polar opposite in this one. Um, we really have absolutely nothing to go to. We're literally going to be fishing past history. It's been crazy, crazy tough out here on the lake. Simply just, I think, because of the time of year and because of the phase we're in. Uh, over the last week or so, that right there has been a huge factor in making it tough. We're dealing with water right now on the lake that is between 95 and 97 degrees, depending on what area of the lake you're on. Either way, it's freaking hot. So there is no doubt in my mind that, that these fish in the lake are feeding primarily at night, especially when you got a moon like that. Now, today is the actual full moon. Last night was the, the, the fullest the moon's gonna be, so. It's gonna be tough. Um, we're literally gonna start in a spot that I have never fished in my life. Uh, Kelly has spent some good amount of time there. He went earlier this week and saw what he liked. You know, liked what he saw. So we're gonna go there, and then honestly, we're going to uh, just fish past history. We're gonna fish areas that we've fished and caught them in this time of year over the last few years. And it's just going to be all flipping, we believe. We're going to start out on a shad spawn, white swim jig, spinner bait, that whole thing. Might stop at one schooling spot, and then we're just going to pick the big rods up and give it a shot. It's not going to be fun, okay? If I don't look excited, I'm really not. Even if we win this event, it's not going to be a fun day. It is going to, the real feel today is supposed to feel like 111 degrees. Hot no wind and at some point giant thunderstorms are going to pop up the one that went through here yesterday afternoon <clears throat> was one of the worst i've ever seen and i mean that as far as terms of lightning i've lived here my whole life i've never seen lightning like this the wind was literally gusting to 65 mile an hour and all of the cane across my street here is laid flat like a like a roller went over it so Got to be very careful of that, okay, especially when you're dealing with big water, you know, on the lake. Uh, you know, wind will make it rough. Heavy rain will make the visibility low, and lightning will obviously just kill you on the spot. So I don't play with lightning, nor should you. But, I mean, we're going to go give it a shot. It's going to be work. It's going to be hot. I just put 36 bottles of water uh, in that big cooler, and I filled it to the brim with ice. Fish care is going to be the utmost importance. Gonna do everything we can to keep those fish safe. Uh, so, those of you that are watching after the event, future, you know, future tournaments like this when it's hot, just do the little things, rejuvenate, put that water on recirc, ice it down, you know, cool it down just a hair. Don't beat your fish up. If it's rough, leave a little bit early to get back to the way in or, or give yourself a little bit of time getting from spot to spot. Don't beat the fish up. When you get to weigh in, don't be afraid to fill the bag almost as far, high as you can. If it's heavy, have your partner help you carry it up. Hey, leave the cat alone. Loosen Bentley your wake. Wishing me good luck. The mosquitoes are horrible. So that's it. I'm going to go uh, finish up these last few things, and I will see you guys on the water.
don't hear them popping, but we're going to try. I'm gonna just put your pulls, I'm gonna pull you down.
time to get into the boat. My line's out here. Oh shit. Oh no, actually he might. Is that other one up? That trap, that trap gone. Not for a while anyway. Get your scale out now, buddy. No, we know, we know that little one's gone. We'll do the scale thing. When Make I do it. the scale thing, I won't, I won't. Right here, come help me. Right here. Hold them up. Hold them up. Never had a big bite. You know, expect big things from these guys. What you don't want to do is ask Cody Davis how to set the hook on a fish. That might not work if you think that his videos are serious like me. Oh, 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 23, 14, baby. Second place. You got to wait. You want to you wait a big one? You sure? <laughs> That's okay. That's, he doesn't even have a six pounder. They're just fish catching studs. Let me get the ticket. Go get some water on those fish. Kelly Autry and Cody Davis.